what's up man what's up everybody welcome back to how rich reacts it is i moe 5713 man we're back with another episode if you're new to the channel guys go ahead please like subscribe hit the bell notification so you can be notified on my future episodes very much appreciated and also if you haven't yet followed me on instagram go ahead follow me right now just in case anything happens to the channel man y'all know where to you know what I'm saying y'all know where to find me man uh but anyway guys before we get started bro i just want to give you this out the way because a lot of y'all been asking me more why have you been uploading anymore I go, what's going on bro but basically bro i mean it is what it is bro I gotta pay I, I gotta pay the bills bro I gotta pay the bills I, I know y'all want videos bro from me but you know unfortunately how the system works right now you know I, I haven't been getting paid for the past two channels all right uh, the only time that I got paid was like two channels ago all right for the past two channels that one got deleted and I wasn't getting paid that much and now this one I haven't I'm not getting paid at all but I'm not complaining I just want to let you guys know that I'm not gonna go anywhere it's just like sometimes I just gotta you know say I gotta grind bro I gotta grind and uh you know what I'm saying get these bills out the way i mean you gotta know me bro it's just another obstacle that i gotta go through you know what i'm saying but you know what I'm saying they're not gonna silence me i'm gonna keep coming back i mean i just want to give you a little update and y'all wondering where i've been uh what i'm thinking about doing since y'all been asking me so much and uh I, I mean i should just film what i'm doing all right maybe some of y'all would get your fix of what i've been doing behind the scenes if, if that's what y'all want leave your comment down below and let me know if you want me to do a daily vlog or a, a vlog once in a while uh See, I'll be just updated of see my daily life, bro. If that's what y'all want, leave your comments up below. But if y'all don't want it, I ain't gonna do it, bro. I mean, this I'm not gonna get paid for it anyway. But I mean, I just wanna, uh, yeah, I'm just doing it for you guys at the end of the day. But anyway, let's move on to today's topics, bro. There's a lot of topics that we gotta go through, bro. I mean, of course, the first one gets Lane Maxwell, bro. Y'all been asking me more. What's up with gets Lane Maxwell? The Gates Lane Maxwell trial, bro. At the end of the day, guys, the Gates Lane Maxwell trial is still zip tight i mean they're trying to give you information of what they want you to know but basically all the information that's coming out right now and all these news articles is basically uh just recycled material i mean just basically stuff that we already knew or stuff that i already reported about i mean of course we already know because the name maxwell was all here you know what i'm saying getting little girls and you know and being the middleman for uh jeffrey fc i mean they're just recycling the same same thing bro but uh one thing that i want to get this out the way and if y'all you're asking me what do you think is going to happen with the gets lane max with bro it is looking pretty grim bro it's looking pretty grim uh because of the judge that has been assigned to the case and this judge has been assigned to the case it's just a whole setup bro it's a whole setup uh let me get to this real quick and i'm gonna show you all why i mean i'm probably y'all probably seen this already but this judge that has been assigned to the case or, or you know to this this trial is being paid by the democrats bro and joe biden and she's uh she has ties with obama it, it's just ridiculous bro all right so let, let's see this a little bit man uh this is the judge right here all right judge allison nathan is proceeding over the against lane maxwell trial she is a member of the skull and bones and sister secret society uh quill and dagger she was john Kerry's associate national counsel in 2004 she was a special assistant and White House counsel to Barack Obama from 2008 to 2010 and appointed to the federal bench by Obama. She was appointed to the appeals court this year by Joe Biden. All right. Do you think anything's going to happen? Joe Biden and Obama? I mean, they're all tied to the Clintons. Come on, man. They're, this is already a bought out, bought out judge, bro. Uh, here's more. Here's more right here. Just in case y'all don't know, just by the picture, bro, I'm not saying nothing, but she's a part of the LGBTQ community, all right? You know what's up. You know, they're a minor attractive person. You know, they try to, uh, you know what I'm saying, they're going that route. I mean, she's a part of that uh, that mafia. Uh, Judge Allison Nathan in charge of the Gisley Maxwell trial. Here she is with her wife, twin boys, and Obama. She was just offered a promo promotion from Biden. So this is her with her twin boys. Who's the poppy? Who's the pappy? All right, that's besides the point. But here she is with Obama, uh, but she's in charge for the Gisling Maxwell situation, bro. What the fuck's going on, bro? I mean, there's a lot more things going on with that trial, bro. We're gonna get into it, but you know, I, I just want to give you the foundation of who's gonna be in charge of the trial, and this is this this lady right here, uh, pretty much bought out by the you know by the Democrats. All right. Once again, guys, I'm not a, a Republican or Democrat. I just, I just see through the bullshit, bro. And this is just straight up BS. I mean, there is no way that this judge has not been bought out. I mean, due to 
all her history between these presidents and you know and Barack Obama and you know the Democrats and all the way going to Clinton because at the end of the day Clinton has a lot to do with his trial all right there's a lot of uh, uh, witnesses you know a lot of victims in this trial with the FC and the Gisley Masters where they point out uh, President Clinton as being a predator bro and having sex with him as uh, underage all right we already know what uh, the Clintons do when uh, you know somebody gets in their way it bro i mean it's just crazy bro but we're gonna get into more of the details in the future bro but anyway we're gonna get to more topics bro a lot of a lot of bs is going on right now bro uh i'm gonna show y'all this uh this piece of propaganda that's going on with that thing uh probably some of y'all seen it with uh jimmy fallon and who else was in it uh megan the stallion i mean is ridiculous bro i don't even know i could if i could even show it because they even copyrighted the music so uh, i probably can't even show you guys but i'm gonna show you a, a little piece of the clips and try to go through it just uh, slowly but hold on let me get to it real quick uh all right so it's jimmy fallon featuring ariana grande megan the stallion it was a masked christmas there's 253,000 likes that means there must be millions and millions of dislikes that they've been hiding bro there ain't no way there's 253k likes about a, a Christmas promotional song. I mean, it's just insane, bro. It's just a look at this piece of propaganda, bro. I'm gonna show you a little bit because down here, just check this out. I ain't bullshitting you. There is a uh, copyrighted. It was a Max Christmas. They copyrighted this shit. So if you want to use it or react to it, they're gonna get their money off of it and all this BS. Or they could even delete uh, the the video if they don't like it. All right, that's basically what it is. So I'm gonna put it up right here, and we're gonna listen to just pieces of it. Uh, I'm gonna skip it. Though. It's Megan Thee Stallion, Ariana Grande. All right. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get those boosters. <laughs> I know what time it is. It's time to get those boosters. <laughs> it's time to get those boosters. It was a last Christmas. We stayed in the house. We covered our nose and covered our mouths, but it's Christmas. It was a mass Christmas. We covered our mouth. You know, uh, guys, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna read the subtitles. Thank God. We'll be in line for a booster. This is the fucking the melody or the hook. It was a mass Christmas. We are gonna zoom. I can only get Wi Fi in the laundry room. Biggest piece of propaganda, bro. And they got big ass celebrities too, man. We'll be in line for a booster. All this programming BS for a booster. I need somebody to hold the night. But it's Christmas time. We'll be in line for a booster. It was a last Christmas. We are gonna do. Alright, man. I can't deal with this propaganda, bro. Man, it's fucking bullshit. Of course, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, bro. This fucking tune is catchy. If it was anything else, I just feel like these directors are these music producers they uh they know the science between these catchy songs bro and these little kids little kids bro they're gonna they're gonna listen to this and just hear the tune and tune out and it's gonna be subliminally in their heads bro i mean this it's not even take the the vax all right they're trying to persuade the people that already got the the two doses to get their booster shots bro it's, it's a never any cycle never any cycle all right next song is gonna be we're in the house. Time to take the fifth or sixth booster. I mean, it, it seems like they're just doing this to for the people that fell for it this first time. Once you're all in and you already take the first one, why wouldn't you take the fucking third or fourth or fifth or sixth one, bro? I mean, just uh, just obey and everything comes in line. I mean, a lot of people, unfortunately, a lot of you guys, bro, a lot of you guys that are my followers, bro, you, you had no choice to take this shit, bro. You've been pushed into a corner threaten your livelihood bro you've been threatened your livelihood a lot of you messaged me mo i had no choice bro it's either this or not feed my family bro this is just disgusting bro this is this is this is beyond ridiculous bro i mean this is fucked up all right and the, i mean this is the new reality bro it's, it's all twisted mess mess messed up bro this is all i want to get into it bro but it's just it's fucked up. They're still pushing this agenda, bro. But anyway, uh, let's move on to another topic. It's, it's in L.A., bro. Something that happened in L.A. recently. 
uh, there's still a lot of children that haven't taken that thing, all right? But they're they're in incentivizing young children without even notifying their parents now, bro. There's this whole ordeal right now in LA where this LA school district bribed, they bribed little children with pizza to take the thing. Uh, so they incentivize little children to get the thing without the parents' consent. All right, and it, it's just messed up. Let's just read this article real quick. All right, it says, uh, Mom says her son got that thing for pizza without her consent. All right, a mother in LA has said her son, he, he got that thing at school without her consent after he was offered pizza. Out of all things, all these six folks, bro. Maribel Duarte, NBC4 News, her 13-year-old came home with a vaccine card after saying yes to be vaccinated in exchange for a pizza at the Barack Obama Global Prep Academy in school in South uh, Los Angeles. Regarding my son's health, I am against it, she said. She added it was be because he had some underlying health issues. She clarified she was not against the vaccine that she has the jab herself, but feels differently towards her son. She added he has problems with asthma and allergy problems. At least two parents have launched a lawsuit against the LA school district. I mean, he just fucked up, bro. They didn't even uh, notify the parents. But anyway, let's, let's move on to some small topics, bro. Some things that, that y'all sent me over uh, over this time that I haven't, I haven't been around. But anyway, I want to get to this. These some topics, bro. They're disturbing, bro. Of course, the Twilight Zone type of disturbance, bro. I just want to show you what will happen here where we're at in the U.S. If, uh, if we don't stand up for our rights, bro. Do y'all know what's happening in China, bro? I want to give you an example. This is what ha what is happening in China right now. Hopefully, this video doesn't get deleted because of it, but just check this out. Chinese health authorities are welding people's doors shut. They're locking citizens' doors with steel chains and lining hallways with barbed wire. But what's behind the extreme actions? The tactics seek to block people from leaving their homes. Just one aspect of China's strict virus prevention and control strategy. It's known as Beijing's zero COVID policy, an effort to completely eliminate the virus from inside Chinese borders. And has been in place since the beginning of the first outbreak complete loss of rights bro this is just insane they're out here welding sh doors bro they're putting barriers so people won't get out bro this is ultimately what's going to happen in this dictatorship bro this communism state bro i'm in loss of words bro this is what's happening in china man and joe biden is the ally of the chinese uh communist party bro just, just, keep, just keep that in mind bro i mean this is exactly what your children are going to deal with if you don't stand up right now bro I mean, it's just crazy, bro. But anyway, uh, let's move on to another one, bro. Everybody, Mr. Joe Biden, bro. Just check this one out. This is just insane, bro. It's funny as fuck, bro. It's comedy. It's comedy gold, bro. He's out here leading a blind man. But, you know, senile old man Biden is, is just as blind as a bat as this damn blind man, bro. It's just so ironic, bro. It is so funny. Just check this out. Where am I? Right here, sir. I'm right, right here. here. Okay, here we go. Boss, let's go over here. Okay, why don't you turn around to your right? Hey, folks, there how are you? Good to see you, man. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> Where am I? Right here, sir. I'm right here. Okay, here we go. Boss, let's go over here. Okay, why don't you turn around to your right? Hey, folks, how are you? Good to see you, man. And here we are. He's lost himself. He don't know what the fuck he's doing. He's lost, bro. This just shows the direction of the U.S., bro, where it's headed. This is the leader of the U.S., bro. He can't even lead a blind man. He can't lead a blind man to the stage. You think he could lead a country? What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, this is it for today's episode, bro. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Yeah, man. It's MW for the 713. I'm going to see you guys on the next episode. Bam.